get my chewing gums. You've left me a voicemail. You've left me a voicemail saying that um, I've got to come in and fill out the prescription again. Now I've just come in. I've just come in now to fill out the fill out the form for the prescription, and the doctor's not here. And you're saying to me that I have to wait till October the first for me. So and the date today is the 19th of September. I'm trying to stop smoking. And you're telling me that I've got to wait till October the 1st, which is two weeks away, two weeks away. Remember that, it's two weeks away. And I'm trying to stop smoking. And I came in here the other day, all kindly. You saw I was already on the form. You left me a voicemail saying, because it's been too long, or blah, blah, blah. I don't mind it's been too long. I'm, I'm universal credit. I'm universal credit, so I'm covered. But I've just come in to, to get chewing gums because I'm trying to quit smoking. And you're giving me the audacity excuse to wait till October the 1st. What shall I do between now and October the 1st? I've got four chewing gums left and I, I'm, I smoke like 20 cigarettes a day. So you're telling me you can't perform this action because the doctor who I usually work with isn't here and you don't have the power to do it. So you had it in the month of April, right? Yeah. After we did not see you for more than April, May. May yeah, four, four months. And then I came in the other day. I came in the other day and you, you looked at my forms and you said, All right, do you know what, you was going to give it to me. You said, you know what, let me just double check. I said, yeah, cool, double check. Let's do some double checking. You've done your double checking. Uh, you left me a voicemail. and I, You left me a voicemail and you didn't say on the voicemail that I won't be able to get it to October the 1st. You did not explain that, sir. You said to me, come in and get your prescription and ref... Sorry? I've listened to the voicemail. You did not say anything about October the 1st. Yeah? Can no, you can't listen. Listen, I've, listened, I've got the voicemail. You didn't say any... No, listen, explain your actions and we'll go from there. Because I need to know why I can't get it. Forget the voicemail. Forget that. That's out the window. Let's explain. Explain to me why I can't get it. Please. The actual manager is not here. Yep. He's on holiday. Yes. When you came here, I spoke to him. I contacted yep. him and he told me it's been a long time. He right. See you. Right. So he advised me to, uh, to say to you that... Come back in month of October first week. You didn't say that on my voicemail. Why is he saying to come back? Listen, bro. I smoke twenty cigarettes a day. I need some nicotine gums. I need some nicotine gums. I know you can help me. You're now pawning it off to someone else, and you're telling me to wait two weeks, brother. What? What are you up to? On a level, brother. What are you up to? You're telling me to wait two weeks. I can't help you because I'm not trained to give it to you. Yeah, but. You can see, who is here who can help me? What are you giving up prescriptions for then? It's chewing gum. Yeah. I know I can buy them. Why are you getting involved? Because I know I can. Because what? Because what? Sorry, are you the sergeant here? I'm the pharmacist. Right, here. so then if I. So why did you tell me on the voicemail? Why didn't you say. Why didn't you. I'm not the regular pharmacist. No, but on the voicemail. Can I, on, can we explain? on the voicemail. On the voicemail, no one said I'd have to wait till October the 1st. You told me to come in and fill out the prescription. You said you have to re-prescribe, yeah? But you didn't say about waiting until October the 1st. Can I listen to the voicemail? Do you want to listen to the voicemail? Please. All right, let's listen to the voicemail. We're going to listen to the voicemail now. 